called the greatest outdoor show on earth and it turns 100 this year. More than 1 million people are expected to attend this year. With more on what we might expect is VK.ca editor Adrian Bridge-Bassey. Adrian, what are some of the big plans for the 100th anniversary? Hey, thanks for having me on, uh, Sarah. Oh, nice hat, by the way. <laughs> thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, Ian Tyson's going to be the Grand uh, Marshal this year. So last year they had Will and Kate uh, in town and uh, some Canadian royalty this time around. And uh, there will be lots of fireworks. Paul Brandt and the Young Canadians uh, will be headlining every day uh, of uh, the Stampede. And after their show, their fireworks are going to be shoot, sh uh, shot off. and. Uh, There'll be uh, fireworks at uh, different times uh, as well, so they really uh, set to light things up big this time. And you know what? The food is really big, right? They're known for their oh, food. Oh, yeah, the ca but it's free breakfast, which, you know... Right, I, throughout the whole city. Th throughout the whole city, throughout our, each 10 days, and I still ca can't get my head around that, because, <laughs> you know, we're so used to getting gadgets at festivals for food and drinks, and here the, the Stampede's keeping up this tradition Pancakes and all, I Yeah, know. It, it's yeah. great. So And Rouge, a uh, fabulous restaurant, and uh, some history there uh, that's owned by... Uh, uh, formerly owned by A.E. Cross, one of the founders, and Rouge is one of the best restaurants in the country. Uh, the, the Ranch, another uh, restaurant, uh, has a parlor room where the four founders actually sat and uh, devised a plan in 1912 for the rodeo. So mm -hmm. there you see that right there. It's beautiful. You had the chance um, also to visit the ranch that's home to many of the animals featured in the Stampede. What was that oh, like? Oh, it was absolutely spectacular. The uh, Calgary Stampede Ranch is 22,000 acres of golden fields. As far as you can see, there's 500 horses. Wow, uh, look at that. At, at, at feeding time, they come up over the... Uh, over the crest of the hill and you can see that it's like something out of a movie it's absolutely spectacular and you, you also get to see uh, some of the care that goes in uh, from the vets and the ranch hands for these animals which is uh, nice as well so you were hanging out at the ranch that's where you got the hat uh, well, I got white hat, which is quite the honor there, isn't it? Well, okay, tell us about that. Oh, it's a, an honor that's been going on since 1950. The mayor back then started it, and, uh, you know, you have to hold up your hand and solemnly swear to have a good time, and uh, <laughs> that's a promise I could keep, so. <laughs> and you kept it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, okay, animal rights groups have told uh, people not to support the rodeo, right? What did you yeah. find out about the treatment of these animals? I mean, you were there, you mm -hmm. personally saw it. Yeah, you know, the vets uh, on the ranch, they, they do a terrific job. And, and I actually spoke with the Vancouver Humane Society's Peter Fricker, who's been outspoken against uh, rodeos in general. And he said he has no, uh, he's pretty confident that on the ranch, uh, the, the animals are, are well cared for. It's, uh, th their concern is uh, the, the events themselves, which they say is a trivial entertainment that puts these animals in harm's way. The Calgary Stampede, on the other hand, it says they have much more stringent rules than any other rodeo uh, for the protection of these animals. So. And this has been going on for a long time, so they have a, a good reputation reputation, right? Uh, well, you know, the, the, there were a couple of horses died last year, six died in, in 2010. They continue okay. to change the rules to try and uh, to reduce those injuries. Uh, you, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things that's going to st stick around as an issue uh, all through the stampede. Okay, uh, let's uh, move ahead now uh, because there's also other stuff happening all across the country. Uh, another 100-year anniversary coming up. Can you tell us what's happening in Halifax? Yeah, it's much more somber. It's uh, the commemoration of the sinking of the Titanic, which happens uh, next uh, uh, weekend. And uh, Halifax is the only a designated Titanic city in uh, in North America, and uh, that's because of the integral role the city played in the rescue efforts uh, back in 1912. And uh, uh, next Saturday, Gordon Pinsent will be an MC over uh, some of the uh, observances that will take place, which will include a moment of silence at 12:27 a.m. Uh, when the okay. sick uh, ship actually began to sink. All right. Thanks so much, Adrian. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Erica.